Hello and welcome to another weekly update of our African Nightcrawler bin. This is my large 45 gallon and the reason I got them a 45 gallon is because they are a large worm and I do want to make sure that I have a large number of worms and so I encourage the space for them to, to breed and grow. So we'll be digging around a little bit and here again we see some some sprouts. This is great growing medium you can see for for fruits and vegetable sprouts to grow. And when I remove the paper from the uh, from the top of the of the bin, there was one long guy just spread out here so i hope it's not for lack of food but these guys are the amazons of my bunch they are large castings are really nice and fluffy I'm just every time I go in here and check them out I'm constantly surprised they feel quite different than the castings from my blue worms or the red wiggler bins And I think harvesting will be quicker and easier. They're just so airy. I think they'll go through my sift sifter in no, no time at all. No food here. So this is, this is where we fed. Heard anything here? Sometimes I find babies right underneath. So we shall see. Okay. And those are babies, by the way. Look at all the babies. So what I'm seeing really is the bedding. What remains of the bedding? Not, not too much of the food. Wow, look at all those babes. It feels a little bit warmer here in this particular feeding area than it does in the rest of the bin, and that's very typical and very normal. The food is breaking down, and it gives off a lot more warmth. So when the bin is, look at them. When the bin is large enough uh, where when you pocket feed, when the bin is large enough, the worms have an opportunity to move away from food as it heats up and move back in when it cools down. So some of the advantages of having a, a, a bit of a larger bin. Okay, we are going to obviously feed them. So we'll do so on this side. I thought about pocket feeding uh, corners like I do in my other in my other uh, bins, but this bin is so big that I decided I'm just going to feed sides. 
So we have three, I divided into three sections. I may change it up, but right now, this is how I've been feeding it. It seems to, to work so far. So that's what we're gonna keep on doing. I have the bedding ready. These guys really do love their bedding. I think much more so than any, any of the other worms. And I do have some coffee grounds for them. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. It's a large feeding for them. I have all kinds of goodies here. Bananas, banana peels, rotten cucumbers, some tomatoes, a little bit of everything. Eggshells. And we're gonna cover it up. So it looks like they're back on track. They slowed down there for a bit and uh, weren't composting as well as, uh, as I would have liked them to, but I think maybe it was the temperature now that it has heated up. And it's plenty warm, I can tell you. Um, so they are back to their hungry selves. And I'm really happy with them. They truly are beautiful worm. Okay. So this is another update. And uh, thank you for joining me. We'll see you next week.